Good morning to all. Welcome back to our politics class. Last day we discussed about a national parties. National, which are the national party we discussed last day? INC and the CPI. Then last uh, among the uh, when we discussed about CPI, we did, uh, we studied that. During 1964, there was a split among CPA. So, that leads to the formation of another national party. That is our today's top, first topic. CPIM, Communist Party of India, Marxist. That is our topic, which, was, which is formed in 1964. Prakash Karat was the leader, under the leadership of a Prakash Karat, which is formed, which was formed, that is CPIM was formed. Now, we can discuss the, which are the, we discuss about the aims of CPIM, which are the main aims of CPIM. First one, they believes in Marxism and the Leninism. They believe in Marxism and the Leninism. Second one, this, they support democracy, secularism and the socialism. CPIM support democracy, secularism and the socialism. Then next one, CPI was free from the culture of World Bank and IMF. They didn't like to uh, like to have a connection with the World Bank and the IMF. They were free, free from the culture of World Bank and the IMF. The next one CPI is against the free flow of foreign investment or a foreign capital. CPI, CPIM is not at all uh, satisfied with the foreign investment. They always wish to implement a labor intensive method here to give more and more opportunity for the labors. Next one, acts they are the CPI, CPIM accept one. Democratic election. They accept democratic election. Then they support for a work for the common people like a CPI. CPI also work for the improvement of a common people. Like that CPI am the main aim of a CPI. They, they, they are also work for the improvement of a work, working class. Then now we can check which are the major base, which are the leading area of a CPIO, West Bengal, then Kerala and the Tripura. West Bengal, Kerala and the Tripura. These are the main supporting area of a CPIO. Is it clear to you? CPIO, year of formation, who was their first leader? Then aims of CPIM. Next one. Next major national party. BJP. Bharatiya Janada Party. Bharatiya Janada Party which is formed during 1980 under the leadership of A.B. Vajpayee. A.B. Vajpayee was the first president of BJP. First president of BJP. Listen. Which are the aims of BJP? Listen. Mainly they follow Hindutva. Hindutva means. What do you mean by Hindutva? They. Hindutva means they mould the BJP. Mould. Try to mould a country. With drawing inspiration from India. India's ancient culture and the. Values. Listen, that was the first aim of a BJP. They tried, tried to 
mould a country which is giving important for the ancient culture and values of our country. That is known as a Hindutva. Hindutva means what? Giving importance for a ancient culture and the values of our country. That is known as a Hindutva. That, 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 that is the main aim of a BJP. Then next one. They want full territorial, territorial and the political integration of Jammu and Kashmir with the Indian mainland. CP, uh, sorry, BJP aims for full territorial and a political integration of a Jammu and Kashmir with the Indian territory. They were against that. Uh, in, we know that up to this year. When they integrated the Jammu and Kashmir with our mainland and they recently they implement that one. Then up to that one there was a separate law and order was there for Jammu and Kashmir. BJP was against that system. Against that, that they wish to implement a territorial integration and territorial and political integration of a Jammu and Kashmir with the Indian mainland. Then a uniform civil code for every people. Yes, uniform civil code for every people regardless of religion, region, gender, creed, caste. They were suggesting a uniform civil code for every people which is against it. But But in our country, we have the right to follow any religion. We are living in a secularist country. But if if the, if you are implementing a uniform code of law, that means uniform civil code for everyone, everyone means that with every citizen, every Indian citizen need to follow a particular civil code which is meant by our government. A uniform, the BJP suggests a uniform civil code for whom? A uniform civil code for Indian citizen. Then next one, they follow five principles. They follow five principles, which are the nationalism, national integration, then democracy, secularism, and Gandhian socialism, which are the nationalism, national integration, democracy, secularism, and the Gandhian Socialism. These are the five principles followed by the BJP. Then next one. During the during 1998 they came to in government. They form a central government in India. They got a chance to form a government in central level in which year? 1998. Then 2004 they lost that power again 2014 again they got chance to form the central government then now 2019 onwards who is ruling our country who is governing our country BJP is governing our country during 90, uh, so 2014 they got a well, 364 seats they got a 364 seats during 2019 election now they are joining with the ruling with an alliance which is that NDA National Democratic Alliance then in 2019 election BJP alone got a 303 vote and the NDA government altogether got a 300 and 53 seat 300 here sorry to 2019 election BJP along got how much seat 303 seat and after the NDA altogether they got a 353 seat in the Sabha election is it clear to you can we move to next next party next party is known as a BSP which is formed in a 1984 under the leadership of a Kanshira under the leadership of a Kanshira who are the 
ലീഡേഴ്സ് വിച്ച് ബി എസ് സമാജ്വാദി പാർട്ടി വാസ് ഫോംഡ് വിത്തി ഇൻസ്പിറേഷൻ ഓഫ് എ സാഹു മഹാജൻ പെരിയാർ രാംസ്വാമി നായ്ക്കർ ദൻ ബി ആർ അംബേദ്കർ ത്രൂ ദി ഇൻസ്പിറേഷൻ ഫ്രം ദി ഇൻസ്പിറേഷൻ ടു ഫോം എ ന്യൂ പൊളിറ്റിക്കൽ പാർട്ടി ഇൻ നയൻറ്റീൻ സിക്സ്റ്റി ഫോർ വിച്ച് ഇസ് നോൺ ആസ് എ ബി എസ് പി ദിസ് മെയിൻ എയിം വട്ട് വാസ് ദർ മെയിൻ അജണ്ട ദി മെയിൻ അജണ്ട ഓഫ് ബി ഒ ബി എസ് പി ദേ വർ വർക്ക് ഫോർ ദി വീക്കർ സെക്ഷൻ ലൈക്ക് ദളിറ്റ്സ് ഒ ബി സി എസ് സി എസ് ടി ലൈക്ക് ദാറ്റ് ദേ വർക്ക്ഡ് ഫോർ ദി ഇംപ്രൂവ്മെന്റ് ഓഫ് എ വീക്കർ സെക്ഷൻ ദെൻ they were again they were against the caste system they were against the caste system then because of that they that they were inspired by the bsp followers are inspired by whom uh, by our social reformers like periyar ramaswami naikar then B, dr b r ambedkar sahu mahajan like that then main base of a ബി എസ് പി വിച്ച് ആർ ദി മെയിൻ വെയ്സ് ഓഫ് ബി എസ് പി മീൻസ് ഉത്തർപ്രദേശ് മധ്യപ്രദേശ് ഛത്തീസ്ഗഡ് ഉത്തർഖണ്ഡ് ഡൽഹി ആൻഡ് പഞ്ചാബ് ദീസ് ആർ ദി മെയിൻ ബേസ് ഓഫ് എ ബി എസ് പി ദെൻ ദ ഫോംഡ് എ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഗവൺമെന്റ് ഇൻ ദ സെവറൽ ടൈം ദ ഫോംഡ് എ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഗവൺമെന്റ് ഇൻ യു പി നൗ ഹൂ ഈസ് ദി ലീഡർ ഓഫ് എ ബി എസ് പി എനി ബഡി ഹാസ് എൻ ഏരിയ ഹൂ ഈസ് ദി ലീഡർ ഓഫ് ബി എസ് പി Mayavadi Mayavadi is the leader of BSP during 2004 election they got only 5% of total vote then they got one uh, 90 seat they got a 90 seat that means that is about a BSP is it clear to you today we discuss about three major national party which are the BJP CPIM and the BSP is it clear to you i hope all concepts are clear to you if you have any doubt you can call me that's all have a nice day thank you